today's review will be the review of the speed rocker set i'm only going to mount the back fender the set includes spoiler for gravel cycle cross and racing bikes with disc brakes it's usable for all round or road the weight is 408 grams max tire width is 42 millimeters Lens in front is 500 plus 210 millimeters, and they are usable for disc brakes. It has a five year guarantee warranty. It's made in Germany. Let's see what is inside the box. So this is what is inside the box. There's a small plastic bags with buckles and things to tighten the fender. Then you have the front fenders here. I'm not gonna use them. I think uh, it's not really that necessary. And this is the back fender, the mounting system here and here. Yeah, let's see how difficult it is to put it on the bike. There is a small nipple here, one similar on the other side, as you see here. That's where this part is going to be mounted. over this small nipple now and the other small nipple on this side here and that's what i'm gonna do to yeah there are four places where it has to be mounted here 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 and like this the part that you mount uh, on these bulks it's soft rubber and of course uh, it's soft rubber to protect the frame but in the box there are also these small stickers uh, you put this around the frame to protect the frame if you like the review maybe you can give me a thumbs up you could even subscribe to the channel because as you always know it's much appreciated this is my bike and i have used this uh, yeah, you call it an ass saver. Sorry for the language. I haven't really been uh, fond of that and uh, I don't think that it does the work that well. So that's why I am going to change to the speed rocker. Okay, the first thing I am going to do is to make sure that these buckles has the right angle to put it here on the frame. I'm going to untighten this one and then adjust it a little bit. Now it has the right angle on each side and you see there's lots of space in between the wheel and the fender, so no problem. Now I know where it's going to sit here and I'm going to use the stickers around the frame so that gets extra protection, just like this. So the sticker is going to be sticked onto here, so I'm just going to do like this, take it away for extra protection around the frame. Yep. There are five straps like this in the plastic bag and they have to be cut in size once you get it mounted on the frame. There's like a bit of protection on the back side here but you're just going to remove this plastic. On the back side of the strap there's like some anti yeah some extra plastic. When you mount it on the bike it helps keeping the strap in place. Now the strap has to go through this hole on top here and you put it in this way with the velcro uh, pointing towards you then you pull it all the way till it can't go any further and you have this buckle here and that's where the strap is going in through like this and now is the little bit tricky part you have to pull it all with all your force make sure that it's all the way up to the frame here then pull it down all the way around and as I already said you see the strap is far way too long here so you will have to cut it on the back side here and don't worry there will still be enough strap when yeah you have to adjust it at some point and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side here to make sure there is enough clearance between the tire and the fender here there are two holes here where you put in the fifth strap when you put the strap through this small hole here, the Velcro is pointing towards you. And you see the buckle is here. Pull it all the way, tighten it, and through here, tighten it around. And now there is lots of space in between the tire and the fender. 
This part is adjustable, so you can pull it all the way down here if you want to, or you can pull it further up, which I think is quite nice. Now the back part, there you have to be a little bit alert because you have the disc brake here. Of course, you cannot put the fender down here with the Velcro and everything, and that's not possible. It would get caught in the disc brake here. Make sure that you put it a little bit further up here and you can see I have to adjust the angle of uh, this part so I have to unscrew here and then adjust it. Once I find the right angle, I will put on the protection tape again here on the frame and then put on the straps. So I put the strap through here on the rear thing, pull it towards here and then the strap goes in through here and again tighten it as tight as possible and then cut off the extra strap. And as you see, it has enough clearance in between there, so that's no problem. As I already said, these are way too long, so I'm just going to cut it off like this with a scissor. This is what it looks like from the back fits exactly over the wheel and everything, so I think I'm going to be very, very satisfied with this setup. And also the clearance in between the wheel and the fender is nice. It's very sturdy, it's not moving around, anything like that, so nice. I hope you got enough information out of this video. There will be more reviews along the way, also some uh, videos from maybe some nice warm places. It is winter outside right now, but you know what? Take your bike, go out there and explore the world. See you next time.